Hello to my Aries. Aries, let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your reading, Aries. I've already prayed over your cards. Already asked Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives. So let's see what's, what's coming out. Of, ooh, okay, these cards want to jump out of the deck. Okay, so all right, all right, all right. Okay, <laughs> already, wow. Okay, so the I've already cleared the energy. We ask Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description. That's right. So the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands came out first. All right. This is, like I said, a general reading. We do have gen, uh, we do have uh, digital calendars and digital journals below in the description. You definitely want to journal your your life. Not just especially this year, but just in general, because this is the year of wealth, right? And so what are you trying to become wealthier in? It's not just money, just not just paper and coins, but what are you trying to come well, become wealthier in? Your leading card is cards are fire. So maybe your prayer and meditation life, visualizing where you want to be. This video is for May 1st through May 6th. May 1st kicks off the last quarter moon phase within this cycle. We had a super full moon it's not a super excuse me we had a, a full pink moon excuse me in scorpio on april 23rd so when you watch this video we'll still be in the full moon phase but it'll start crossing over into the waning gibbous moon phase and so this is just preparing you for that so let's get into it like i said i've already prayed over your cards this is a general reading starting out with ace of wands three of wands we have the seven of cups the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords. All right, let's go. So Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. Here we have the Seven of Cups here. We also have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords and then also the Ten of Pentacles. Something having to do with family has been really stressing people out. Remember, I've been saying in previous readings that this is a year a lot of karmic cycles are being broken. I mean, like the concentration on that. The, the focus is on that because this is the year of wealth and a lot of people want to acquire more wealth, but they don't have a place to put the wealth, right? So you want to make sure you clean up your spiritual houses to make sure you have room to receive whatever it is you're praying for. Somebody is being able to pray. Somebody's trying to pray for just releasing the feeling of having responsibility of other people's burdens, Right. Um, and so there is very tempting. See this right here. Somebody feels like somebody got away with something. Somebody feels like it's, I feel like somebody feels like it's two types of energies that got away with a lot of stuff like this snake energy, but source is saying that's your Kundalini experience. That's your awakening to increase your prayer and meditation life. So before you feel like somebody got away with something or that you're harshly accusing people of doing something that maybe they're not doing. You'll have complete and total clarity in through prayer and also meditation. You could feel like um, you could feel like other fire signs got away with some stuff. You could feel like any said fire sign, water, air, or earth signs got away with some things. But nevertheless, source is saying for you, the whole purpose of having a Kundalini experience is to take notice of your awakening. What is God trying to awaken in you? What is it trying to make you aware of, right? So the snake just lets me know that there's some energies that you've outgrown. You know, like a snake sheds its skin and some energies that you've outgrown and they've outgrown you. Here we have the ace and ace of, ace of swords and seven of swords. So it's just trying to teach somebody how to be a little bit more strategic, right? Not let something drive you crazy. Oh my God, they got away with something and it's driving you crazy. So the more and more you talk about it, so it's just saying, learn how to be more strategic. Learn how to, and when you, when you start thinking like, see how this person is kind of kneeling down under that full moon as we get closer and closer, we're already in the full moon phase when you watch this video and you feel like, oh, people, they slick, they getting away with stuff, they so on and so on and so forth. Everybody has been accused of getting away with something from somebody, right? But Source is saying, as far as this is concerned, this is what you desire. And that's what Source is saying to you. You desire a very rich legacy. You desire that, see, like everybody in this picture here, your definition of loyalty in terms of just like could be different from somebody else's definition of loyalty. 
And Source is trying to help somebody to learn how to speak into existence only what you want. And that's it. Mercury was retrograde. Let's see when you watch this video. You may watch this video on the 25th of April. So Mercury is retrograde up until the 25th. And then it goes station direct. So whatever answers that you've been seeking, be careful of what you're putting out into the universe because that's what's going to come back to you, right? So Source is saying, I want you to focus on your very rich legacy with your person that you're building with and not so much focusing on somebody got away with something, some some slick slithering sneaky snake got away with something because you're going to keep asking yourself why 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 on the dark side of the number seven when source is saying i've answered the question for you land on the light side of the number seven something is complete something is final something is complete right and um i definitely feel like the more and more you the more and more you learn balance balancing things out a lot of things won't slip like slip under the radar you know for you a lot of things won't slip under the radar so source is saying to you it's not your responsibility for people to um you know think that they've gotten away with something and for you to sit on that i see you releasing two types of situations in particular where you're saying i'm just moving on from that so Depending on what it is, remember this is a general reading. Some things you feel like, okay, this was somebody really burned me bad. And it may take you longer to deal to heal from that, right? But other things you may just say, it's not even that deep. I, I now know what I didn't know before. Let me move on from this. And I'm only speaking into existence what I want. Let me get locked in and laser focused. And that's where taking a leap of faith comes from. Here we also have the chariot card. So um, I see somebody getting married and I do see somebody being very successful at being married. Here we also have the three of swords right here. Like I said, you and your person focusing on building a life together. Congratulations. So I see you also moving on from the depth of disappointment. Three and seven of swords is 10, obviously. And so somebody definitely is at a point where they're saying I'm having a breakdown or a breakthrough. Which one is it that you choose? Because it really is your choice. Which side of the bed are you waking up on, right? So light side, dark side. You're choosing the light side, looking at your cards here. That's where the breakthrough. And I'm definitely seeing wishes being fulfilled because you're at the higher you're at a higher frequency. So a lot of your wishes are being fulfilled. Somebody really does desire to settle down and be married, but you're going to also have to release that like I said, take the rose-colored glasses off, either take them off gently or they'll be removed forcibly, right? And so source is saying to you forcibly is to keep talking about the same thing where you feel like people got away with this, they got away with that, they were slick, slithering, sneaky, whatever the case may be, versus saying I need to be more aware. I need to be I need to slow down and stop being so super busy and I just need to be more aware. Like I said before, take everything case by case basis, right? Here we also have the 5 of cups here. So yeah, somebody is trying to somebody has moved on from lamenting from some stuff. Here we also have the strength card. Remember these two signs right here are not ruled by planets. This is Leo and this is Cancer. This is ruled by the moon. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Leos are ruled by the sun. The source is saying when you are operating in your purpose and you know exactly what nurtures your spirit, that's why I talk about pulling birth charts so much. Believe it or not, you don't have to read cards. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to be a healer in a sense that you may think because the answers will come to you. You're just a walking, walking healing, right? You know, so source is saying the answers will come to you when you're operating in purpose. It, it comes in sometimes the strangest way, Aries. Like you just like, okay, operating in purpose. Your spirit is being fed. You feel like you're nurtured. You're drinking your water. You're doing things that just balances you out. You're in good spirits. And all of a sudden information comes to you. Yeah, all of the information comes to you. Here we have Knight of Cups. That's how you're going to save yourself instead of kind of sitting around and waiting for something, waiting, waiting, neglecting your own inner child, sitting around waiting, you know, for something. I'm, I'm waiting on some answers. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm anticipating something, right? So sources say your vulnerability is actually your strength. 
So here we have the justice card right here. So some kind of justice is in your favor. Um, and so again, I'm talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart, even if Aries is your Chiron, I'm talking to you as well. MC or IC or sun sign, moon, whatever the case may be. Um, but that's what I'm seeing for you. I feel like somebody is going to end up getting married to, um, end up getting married to somebody that they may have felt like, okay, let me see how I can word this. So the energies you may have felt like you had gotten away with something. You could have felt like, so I feel like somebody used to be married to somebody that you felt like you were, um, there was some kind of imbalance there. Talking about the justice card, some kind of indecisiveness going on here. Like, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what's going on, whatever, or thought about marrying them or something. My source is saying, when you make room for the very thing that you prayed for, which I see somebody is inspiring people, motivating people, somebody's going to have to release the, this person manipulates people, they're a snake, they get away with stuff. A lot of that is just conversation that you just growing that, you know, what you want to grow for somebody is I'm not going to do an injustice to myself anymore. I'm allowing my vulnerability to be my strength. And when I choose, when there's, when I'm in a fork in a road and I have to choose a high road or the dark, the light road or the dark side of things, I'm going to choose the light side and let karma do its thing. Right? So again, a lot of it is slowing down and, and paying attention to what's going on because otherwise emotionally somebody's water will keep on boiling. They'll overthink things as far as family is concerned and believe everybody is getting over on you. There's no way everybody's getting over on you. And so source is saying to you, um, that goes both ways. So be very careful with that page of cups. We have the two of wands. We also have the two of pentacles here. So there's that number two again. I feel like somebody may, you may feel like somebody disrupted your peace when it comes to money. I feel like you feel like somebody disrupted your peace when it comes to your, uh, you know, taking action on things, right? And so I feel like looking at your cards here, not only do I see you as victorious and kind of sort of back in the saddle again, maybe dating again, you know, but I see you completely mind, body, and soul leaving behind all of the things you may have felt like somebody got over on you. My ex got over on me. My ex friend, they did this to me. My such and such and such and such. And you probably are, I mean, I'm sure you're telling the truth. That's your truth. For them, they may say something totally different. So here we have the page of cups here. So I do see some good news coming across your path. And um, somebody has poured a lot of emotion into some things. And, and I do see you having a breakthrough. I want you to also keep in mind, looking at your cards here, when we're talking about removing rose-colored glasses, long before you get to the 10th sword. By the time you get to the 10th sword, you are almost in zombified state, probably in zombified state, because that one last sword had to come in and you had to make a decision. Am I going to get up from this or am I going to lie down and just, you know, bleed out in a sense, right? So sources say sword wound is very traumatic. And so that first wound, that's why some people feel like, oh, that snake got away and they did such and such. But, you know, nine swords had to hit before the 10th sword. So it's the same. Those very swords, are you still, if you're still connected to energies that are pouring toxins on your, on your sword wounds, those are the ones that need to be cut off first. Take the rose-colored glasses off. They need to be cut off first. Those are the ones that's agitating things. You're trying to heal from things. You're trying to take a quiet moment for yourself to process your thought, let your tears fall, all of those things. And people are still standing around pouring salt on an open wound. These are 10 swords here. And so it's going to be disappointing to you how many people, when you take the rose-colored glasses off, how many people agitate those wounds. Versus how many people are really genuinely trying to help you to heal yourself and, and balance it out. Because there's a lot of water here. So somebody is highly creative. That may help you, you know, on your journey of healing. But stay in that, stay in that rhythm. I'm doing things that, that nurture my spirit. So I don't need to take a negative phone call, a toxic phone call from somebody who is really opening my, reopening my wounds. Yeah. 
I mentioned in one of your previous readings that some people won't even be invited to your wedding because it's, it's such a sacred time, a sacred exchange of promises to people, to your person, that it would just damper, it would just damper your whole day to invite certain negative energies. And it, we talk about certain family members, like family, family, blood, whatever your definition of family is. They just keep pouring salt on the open ones. Oh, so-and-so didn't show up. They weren't invited. They didn't call you on your birthday. They didn't do this. They just keep opening up wounds. And so sources are saying, you're leaving a lot of energies behind. So you're leaving a lot of energies behind. So I definitely see you on your horse moving forward. So congratulations to you. Because this is what you're headed towards. Financial independence, getting away from all of that. Here we also have the five of wands here. Five and five came out twice. So two situations in particular, somebody may have felt like a David and Goliath situation was really difficult to move on from. It may have been, in, you know, not um, maybe been indecisive about some things. Here we also have the seven of cups came out twice. Somebody feels like, you know, two energies in particular got away with some things that could almost cause you to drink. You know, thinking about the energies, but again, I definitely see you moving forward from that. Knight of Cups, you've learned how to save yourself from both of these energies. You learn how to save yourself and operate in childlike faith. So congratulations to you for that. What else we got going on? Ace of Cups, right? So yeah, you're moving on in childlike faith. 666 here, right? So either you've demon demonized them or they've demonized you nevertheless bottom line source is saying your vulnerability is your strength um when the moon moves into cancer ask yourself in every relationship this is where you can take inventory every so often for real like make it a you know i don't know I, however frequently you do your evaluations right of, of people in your life even family members starting right now you don't have to make this rocket science. If you feel like there's people in your life right now, do an evaluation. Do they pour into you as much as you pour into them? You know, do they support you as much as you support them, Aries? You know, um, do they recognize your giving heart as much as you recognize their giving heart? Like, it's your, it's your universe. And so sources are saying, but when it moves into cancer, that's when you ask yourself, does my soul feel fed when I'm around them? We're not talking about sexually since there's so much money here. I mean, so much water here. It could be, do they add joy to my life? Do they make me laugh? You know, but not at the expense of other people. Do they just make me laugh? Do they? Do I feel good? Do they support my goods, products, and services? If you write a book, do they buy my book? Have they supported my book? If you have a hair care line, do they support my line? If you got a nail salon, do they... Uh, nail line, do they support my, whatever your products, goods, and services are, do they just support me if I don't have, if I'm the gift product and service, do they support me, right? So source is saying as much as I support them. So source is saying to you, you can evaluate your own relationships around you and decide what stays, what goes, what stays, what goes, right? So, and then also when it moves through Leo, then you ask yourself, you know, do I feel appreciated in all of my relationships, right? Am I staying a little bit too long in romantic relationships, love interest relationships? Do I feel appreciated in those relationships? Or am I just remembering the last big blow up argument situation that's been mounting up for years? So it's a lot of things that, like I said before, in this year of wealth, a lot of people are going to become very, very wealthy, you know, this year because they clean in house. They just clean their house. They're saying, listen, something's been going, some things have been going on too long. I need to release a lot of things and I'm moving forward. So good for you. Good for you for getting up from some situations that you felt like, okay, was really, really just meant to destroy you. Here we have Knight of Wands and staying focused, staying locked in and laser focused, locked in and laser focused. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I see for you so far let's go let's see what else we got going on here i'm gonna make sure i give you the questions for the moon and sagittarius is the moon and sagittarius is really about you know shooting aiming for the stars shooting for your goals and achieving those goals in whatever way you need to achieve your goals so stay focused stay focused here we have the death card yeah something is over you know something is over something is over scorpio could also be involved in all of this but your head and heart are no longer at war with each other 
you've been, I feel like somebody may have had their first deep disappointment between the ages of eight years old and 14 years old, maybe feelings of abandonment or just not really clear as to why certain things make you sad or, you know, that should have made you feel happy. Um, but that's not something you want to get used to. You don't want to get used to just like, I'm so deeply disappointed. Why do I keep pouring so much into people? Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep taking this? Why do I, you know, over nurturing things? So here we have the wheel of the year. This is definitely going to be a really a good year for, you know, a lot of people. Here we have the Dame of Swords here. And so I definitely feel like somebody's going to be happier. We also have the Justice card again, right? So again, karmic ties are being broken. Karmic ties are being broken big time, are being broken. So yeah, part of it too is this, you know, looking for people's acceptance and looking for people's approval. This is why you see so much water here. Water symbolizes creativity, healthy range of emotions, sensuality, sexuality, fertility, passion, joy, all of those things. Somebody pours so much into their relationships that I feel like when you don't get it back, by the time you realize you don't get it back because you're so, you know, doing this and doing that and so on and so forth, that it can enrage you or it can just make you just say, I'm just cutting off the, I'm cutting the supply. I'm just, I'm doing a cord cutting ceremony and I'm just moving on. Which source is saying to you, by the time you cut energies off after overdoing it, they are confused as to why it took you so long. Like, what did I finally do to make you cut me off like this? Right? And this is the key right here. Looking for people's acceptance and approval. Enabling codependency. That's what I'm seeing here in the cards. So that has ended. Source is fully supporting you to move forward. King of Cups, right? And justice in your favor does not always mean court case. Not, doesn't always mean court justice, right? Source is actually saying to you, you're, re, you're releasing karmic bonds. And it took you a lot of strength and vulnerability and coming to self and saying, I've realized that I have been vulnerable. People have been taking my kindness for weakness. And so I'm going to move on with my life, right? So this is like the sword of truth, this sword right here. I'm cutting people off. I'm just cutting them off. I'm tired of, you know, keep pouring into energies. This is where you, how you were able to reach the king of cups here. Tired of pouring into people. So it's just like nobody is forcing anybody to keep pouring into something that there's no return on that investment. So that's where the rose colored glasses are coming off for a lot of people. It's like, okay, I don't have to keep doing what's force. Why am I forced when I can be putting my energy, my creativity, I can create a different life. Speaking of creativity, I can create a different life for myself aside from creating stuff for other people. You're creating, helping them to pour into their happiness, their joy, their sensuality, their sexuality. I see you now pouring into you. And um, some people are going to feel some kind of way about it because you're not spending a whole lot of time. You've been, I feel like somebody came up with all these creative ideas for other people and poured into them, including sexuality, sensuality, and all the other stuff that you're pouring into people. But it wasn't a whole lot of return on investment. Here's the thing, too, right? When you say, like, for instance, pouring money into uh, somebody, because, again, getting away with something, uh, that's kind of tricky because it's, it's, uh, it's not always... Let's say, for instance, you poured into your kids. <laughs> Let's say, for instance, you poured into your kids and you look up and say, there's not a whole lot of growth. But if they if I needed them to pour into me, they're not at a place where they can pour into me. I mean, I don't know. Some people would be upset. Some people wouldn't be upset. Some people would just say, hey, look, OK, I'm going to have to I'm going to need to start pouring into myself. You just got to take it uh, case by case basis. But let's say, for instance, you know, you were uh, pouring into a love interest and they just breadcrumbed you. That may seem, make you seem angry. I don't know. It, like I said, you got to take it case by case basis, but looking here, I definitely see somebody finally moving on. It, what, it wants something feel like it felt like a David and Goliath situation, but sources like not anymore. Your third eye is wide open. Now you're moving forward, you know, almost at the speed of light. Somebody is locked in and laser focused now. So 
Yeah. Yeah. Don't lose that. Don't lose that steam. You're not looking for their acceptance and their approval anymore. There it is. Four of Wands. So, yeah. So, sources say to you, not only is it not your responsibility to carry people's fear, doubt, uncertainty on your shoulders, but it's also sources saying, take a leap of faith. I got you. <laughs> take a leap of faith. Create the life that you want. Listen to your daily affirmations or create them yourselves. <laughs> create the life that you, somebody is highly gifted and talented. And believe it or not, whatever you decide to choose, whatever life you're going after because of your gifts and talents, you know, let's say you decide to go back to school and there's hobbies and such and such down there. Let's say, for instance, you play keyboard or, you know, play the harp or the guitar or whatever, and you list that down there, that could, that could actually, um, help in your acceptance. Yeah, they play some part in your acceptance because, oh, we do have entertainment here. We got somebody who is in the school and they're doing X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. Source is saying to you, create the life that you want, but you're going to have to make room for it. And so mixing the toxicity of things in the past that you've already decided to move on from, it's just not your responsibility to hold other people's toxicity. It just, it isn't. So something is over. Nine of wands, king of wands. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, and also the Ace of Swords. Yeah, more sword energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it seemed like two situations in particular that were very painful for you. That's where the breakthrough is coming in. That source says, hey, I need you to move on from that. This is driving you crazy. Ten, ten, ten. So obviously somebody's incredibly smart, but it was two types of situations. Source needed you to move on and kept saying, move on, move on, move on, cut them off get a strategy together, like every kind of sign under the sun. So now you're just sitting on your throne, carefully betting your thought. So nine of wands and also king of wands. And so again, this energy is trying to call you back into a fold. But again, here we go again. Like I said before, sources saying to you, three, two, yeah, booked and busy, double booked and busy, not burdened. I feel like this four of wands here where sources saying, hey, take a leap of faith. It's basically like, like you have the whole world in front of you. So whatever it is you pray to do, go do it. Source is definitely backing you. Your ancestors are proud of you. I feel like once somebody decides to focus on doing something, because source is saying it's already in your favor, you decide to take the high road and move on from something. Nobody really got away with it. Maybe they thought they got away with something, but guess what? You're creating a life. You're learning how to reroute your emotions. I'm focusing on nurturing myself. Yeah. You have your hardworking person. You have a lot of great ideas. Source is going to make sure your prayers are answered. So one day you're going to look up and go, gosh, I created this life for myself. You already create, you know, um, you're already highly intelligent. So source has already approved you. <laughs> you're already approved to create the life that you want. Source has already said, hey, the approval is just sitting there waiting for you. And um, and this, like I said, it's money in the bank, creating a life of, um, there it is, financial independence. Your gift have actually been increased. Somebody misses you. You're protected by angels. Um, Angel God, Gabriel, the messenger of God. So you're just closing out cycles and dreaming even bigger. You are an answer prayer for a whole lot of people. So Source doesn't want you to look back. Um, somebody just hasn't been completely honest, you know. Maybe somebody's kids haven't been completely honest with them. Maybe somebody's, you know, parents haven't been completely honest. Love interests, whoever, haven't been completely honest with you. Just kind of sort of about everything. But also, before somebody get hyped and like, oh, they're a liar, they sneaky and slick. You got to remember when it comes to, when we talk about creativity and intellect and talking about prayers and, and money and all of this other stuff. Some people are still trying to find themselves. And I'm not trying to get people the benefit of the doubt either. Some people are really just trying to find themselves. They're evolving constantly and still trying to figure things out for themselves. So extend yourself some grace and release the past. Remember, take the rose-colored glasses off. Some people are still trying to find themselves. Some people could be under bullying uh, situations or circumstances. All kinds of craziness going on. So there it is. A new start is coming. Somebody is definitely creating a whole new life for themselves that I feel like you are going to be proud of yourself and very pleased with yourselves of creating a very rich legacy, you and your person. Just a totally different life. A totally different life I'm seeing for you all. 
where you won't spend a whole bunch of your time a day trying to figure out how to pour into other people's lives. Now you're going to start pouring into yourselves and creating a life that you have always dreamed of, right? So invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready, God. Pursue me. That's it. I'm finally ready, God. Pursue me. And again, I'm talking to you, not just if your sun sign is Aries. It's time for you to create the life that you want. Because there's too much conversation and overthinking about you know, how people have hurt you and so on and so forth. And this is legit. Your feelings are valid. The source is saying, stop giving people the power over your life. Stop giving them the power. They hurt you. How does it take, how did a person continue being a nightmare in people's lives over and over and over again? At some point, somebody got to whip out the sword and say, hey, look, I need to cut you off so I can get back to me. A fiery climax approaches. That's right. So, like I said, the, the rose-colored glasses could be gently removed or forcibly removed. You choose. You have to choose. It's your life. So, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get a number and let's, this affirmation card and let's close it out. Yeah. So, I feel like a lot of people are already there, though. Like I said, we're by the time you watch this, this, um, this video, the moon would still be in full moon phase. So, you can still do full moon rituals. But also start thinking about that last quarter moon phase, closing out this cycle, finishing strong. You can choose to say, depending on what the situation is, I need to move on with my life. And and I'm leaving all that stuff behind. If somebody felt like they played me, they played themselves. They have no more access to me. I'm turning off the, I'm cutting the cord. Doing a cord cutting ceremony, I'm done. That's my truth. I'm, this a karmic relationship. You know, I don't want to hold on to this. I need to cut so I can move into my this next phase in my life. Or, like I said, take it by case by case. This is, a, this is a general reading. Take what resonates with you. Number 12, I am a visionary. That's right. You got to envision the life that you want for yourself. And unfortunately, it's without certain energies that were just karmic relationships. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. So when you watch this video, the moon would have moved into Sagittarius. And the moon in Sagittarius is really about replacing worry with gratitude. So if you've been worried about something, replace it with gratitude. Try your best to just close your eyes and think about all the things that you're grateful for, starting with breathing. Because none of this would matter if you weren't breathing. None of this. None of the none of the who got over you, who was slick, who got away with all of this other stuff. You weren't above ground, right? So start with that gratitude. I'm just grateful that I'm alive and listening to positive affirmations, you know, those kind of like, or, or creating them yourself. So here are the questions for the moon and Sagittarius. First question is, what is your heart yearning to learn and do? Second question is, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? Third question is, what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth question is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learning a new skill. And then last but not least is, are you on your path? A moon in Sagittarius about aiming and being crystal clear about what you want and being locked in and laser focused on your horizon. A Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck and good fortune. Some people can't move beyond you know, I got to see somebody hurt just as much as they hurt me. Maybe, I mean, maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. It, But remember the gratitude for just being alive. The next moment isn't even promised. So if you move beyond something and source is saying, okay, uh, channel your energy, turn a different to a different channel, turn to a higher frequency because I got something better for you. Maybe that's something worth saying, okay, I need to move on from something. I don't know, but Bottom line is, when I look at your cards here, Source is saying it's time for you to take a leap of faith. Don't go back into something that you prayed to get out of. I'm trying to make you booked and busy, not burdened. I'm trying to bring new and exuberant love into your life. You have a lot of great ideas, a lot of creativity here, incredibly smart. I'm trying to make sure you are financially independent. You're not looking for people's acceptance and approval. You got at least eight streams of income in you and you and your person building a very rich legacy together. That sounds so much better than what somebody is leaving behind. So when you see snake energy and you think people are a snake, sources say, no, that's your Kundalini experience. That means get out of the way. They move in funny. You move right on out of their way and create a life without them. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. 
Um, by the time the moon moves in, by the time May 1st comes around, the moon would have moved into Aquarius. So when you watch the video, it'll probably be in Sagittarius, then it's going to move to Capricorn, then it's going to move into uh, Aquarius, and then we'll be in that last quarter moon phase. So right now, you're starting to kind of, sort of already feel the overlap in this waning gibbous moon phase. So again, the goal is to take the rose colored glasses off in this cycle, remove them gently before they're removed forcibly, since I'm saying a fiery climax approaches and just saying, okay, I need to move. I need to close out this cycle so I can put that fire behind my prayer and my meditation life and envisioning the life that I know that I deserve without these energies that's causing my fire to burn out because I'm so angry and frustrated and about to pull out a blowtorch. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.